Do you like that sweet fade out? That's called professionalism, I think. <clears throat> All right, I'm re I'm ready. As scams bound my to-do list for a while. And the music's pretty great, though. I can't complain there. Yeah, no, like, I totally love the music. I figure I should at least know what the game it's from is about, because I have the soundtrack and have never touched or looked at the game, so. It should be interesting. Uh, yeah, I've heard I've heard lukewarm reviews as far as this game goes, but we'll give it a go. Who knows? Who knows what will unfold? Anything is possible. Eh. Let me just get set up here. <laughs> All right. What do I need? I don't need that open. I'm gonna close that out. And uh, we don't need that. Okay. Just gonna put us on the right screen here. And I think we're ready to start. I won't spoil, but I'll be around for tips. I appreciate it. I'm finger gunning. I'll just, whenever I'm lost and need help, I'll say, JOKING! Just like that. Just, just, just like that. My voice cracking and everything. Alright. We're gonna, we're gonna start this bad boy. I really hope the plot twist is that instead of everyone going to the rapture, they were abducted by aliens. No spoilers, but that's what I would want. And we're just like, oh, yay, everyone's going to the rapture. And it's like, but why not me? And then it's like, oh, never mind, they were just kidnapped by aliens. And then it turns into an FPS. I have to take down a whole bunch of aliens and save the, the world from the Reapers. Oh, I got something in my eye. I'm not crying already from the music. No, but I, I think I have like a piece of wood in my eye. I don't know. It's sharp and it hurts. Is this still a loading screen? Holy crap. I think it crashed, did it? <laughs> this will be a very short game then. This is the real Mass Effect 4. But what if the rapture this was not? Oh, Collins. hi, Catherine Collins. My name's Catherine too. If anyone will ever hear this, what's up? It's all over. I'm the only one left. Yeah, if you're like me, you don't need anyone else. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is a party. This is a party game. I listen to this soundtrack whenever I'm fl on a flight, like a plane flight. It's always like the most surreal goddamn thing ever. <laughs> it's like I'm about to die. Oh, well, look at that. Oh boy, maybe I gotta turn down the graphics and the computer seems to be stuttering quite a bit, a lot. Oh boy. Yeah, we got. Wow. Computer. Let's, uh. Yeah, let's just bring those settings down, shall we? Uh. So we're on medium? Fuck. Yeah, we'll go, to, we'll go down to low. Save changes and exit. Okay, continue. Let's see, is that better? It's not super great, is it? This game is Chinese propaganda. Oh man. I have to lower it even more. My computer is it's not too happy. You know what? Hang on. Let me let me close out a few things that might help. Uh Bam. Let's see. Holy fuck. I need that open. Need that open. Okay. Well, I guess everything else is just. Oh god. Oh god. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to play this. <laughs> My computer sucks. 
Five. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. If I'm right. Oh God. <laughs> we should be able Is that to a window a or a painting? Oh, it's the a window. Okay. Event has left markers. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. What? The answers. They're all here. In this office? The answers are in the light. Is there a light bulb? What would you do if you were the only person in the world for a day, Kriana? Hang on. I'm gonna see if I can slow down the stuttering. Let's go back to the Carlton screen in the meantime. We're starting now. Don't don't lie to us, Carlton. You can just dance. Uh, what would I do if I was the only person in the world for a day? Well, like I guess if it's just for like a day, I wouldn't be sad then. Um, God, all of, why is this so bad? Okay, let's try this. Um, I probably first thing I would do no pants. You don't need pants. Like that's like a sh social standard. I'm gonna get rid of that shit. Uh, I'm gonna try lowering the resolution and that might fuck up the recording, but that's okay. Um, I play the whole thing on PS4, you'll survive. <laughs> um, no pants, uh, I know, like, I don't, I don't anticipate it would be different than my everyday, day-to-day -day type thing. Try going back. Let's see if. Okay. That's a little better. So, um, yeah, no pants. Uh, probably play video games. Um, maybe I'd like walk around. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'd do anything morally repugnant. Is there a phone going off? What? Oh. This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Okay. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC oh. as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Keep your radio and television on at all times. Okay. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Well, I'm doing one of those Do things. Do not attempt what? <laughs> wait, 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 what was that last one? Okay, I'm sure it's fine. You probably didn't want to put up with me just wandering away. That looks like a point of interest. Hello? Hello? What? 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 Am I... What? Am I... Oh. I don't understand. Am I supposed to be clicking? Oh. I'm not moving my mouse. Oh wait, maybe I am. Oh, I am. On the, the little light? So I'm going that way? I want to go this way? I don't get it. I'm, I'm just moving this little light bulb. They put in front of the sun. Pants are an illusion. Steep. Whoa! That was a big one that time. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. What? I'm trying to do my job. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Now piss off. 
Oh, this guy it's kind of rude. Yeah. That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Okay, can we just talk about this? Mm. Seen and undone. I just Kate walking away. Oh, she is. is. Our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays. I'm heading up to Tower Six. Kate. I love you. <clears throat> you know that, right? This is really uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's get started. Damn. That was... That was pretty cold of Kate. But that's okay. We're gonna just keep on moving. Steven, the nice guy. She Han Soloed him. <laughs> She, she, she really did, didn't she? But it kind of worked out for them in the end, so maybe it'll work out for Kate and Steven. Was that- oh, I thought that was like a puddle, but that is a glowing light. Hello? Did I have to do a thing with my mouse again? Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy! Some weird- frame rate issues going on, but it sure is pretty aside from that. Jeremy, where are we going, buddy? Where are we going, little fella? Gonna go check out this fence? What the fuck, Jeremy? Where do you want to go that way, or do you want to go this way? Go towards the light, Kriana. Everything, everything in my power tells me that that is a bad idea. I know a thing or three about going towards the light. It always ends up bad. You know, I think I might want. I'm, I think I'm gonna quick restart the stream and see if that helps. Um, I'm gonna just lower a few things and see if that helps with the, the stuttering because I'm still getting a little bit, not 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 too much, but a tiny bit. So I'll I'll be right back. Are we back? I think we're back. Maybe. Sort of. Yay. Nay. Hello? Hello, hello? What's the hello? Hello? Alright. Let's continue. Oh, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Okay. Alright, this is good. I can deal with this. Just gotta to bump that resolution down a bit, and that's all. That's all she needed. There's just too many, too many like leaves that this game is trying to render. Welcome to Yognot. Please drive carefully. Pull. Who's that? Hello. Hi. Hey, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm gonna call Clive back, and I'm gonna force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. You, God, no, nuclear no, strike? We need help. What? Oh. Oh, am I right? Is there an alien abduction going on? Oh, I hope- I hope I'm fucking right. I- I fucking hope so. How cool would that be? Alien abduction in the, this ye olde English beautiful town. Steven sounds like he's really trying hard on his Harry Potter impression. Oh, there's Jeremy. There goes Jeremy. Jeremy, can I run? Nope, we're just gonna just take our time. Oh. Uh, let's let's do over here. Don't be so hard on yourself. We've all had rejections. You oh. haven't. <laughs> Come on. We'll look at the figures. Tighten up the data and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the number slightly wrong. Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. 
I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. He just... Listen. Oh. I'm here, right? We're together. You and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. Steven, don't be a butt. Kate, don't be a buddy. You both Look seem like buttheads. Around here? <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> oh, you oh. can laugh Jeez, all you Kate. Want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't really know what they're talking about, but <laughs> Alright, Jeremy, what the hell's up with that? Jer Jeremy. Go that way? Could we go in here? I kinda wanna go in here. Ah! Drink. can't actually grab anything, but that's okay. I got inside. That's one thing. Wait a second. Jeremy, are you smoking again? Local fish and chips. Meal of the day. 50p. Okay. What's this? I hear static. Most buildings are enterable. Ooh, good to know. What about this car? No. Hmm. Is there... Oh, there's a radio over there. Radio. What's up with that radio? No, it's a pub way better than a bar. Ah, you're right. My bad. Keep looking, but it makes no sense. The area we picked the pattern up from can no longer be located on the scope. That's just not possible. You can see significant changes to the quality of the ambient light in that part of the sky. It's overexposed, like a Polaroid left in direct sunlight. Yeah, you mean Jeremy? Or the sun? Or Jeremy in front of the sun? That would really get you some good overexposure. I would think. You know, they, uh... What's up, Jeremy? ...see me as an outsider here as well. Is that supposed to make me feel any better? You know, I understand it's difficult. That's all I'm saying. Your lot up at Valis are never mixed with the local community. People here, they don't really understand what you do up there. Are you trying to get me to come to your church? It's not just about faith. It's about the community. Be involved. Be seen as part of it. One of them. <laughs> Good morning, Father. Day. Jeremy, you're a father? Congratulations! Mrs. Appleton, isn't it? It's Dr. Collins. Great scientist. Whatever next? Good morning, Barbara. Hello. You really think that's a community that will ever see me as one of them? I can live with them staring at me. They just stay out of my way. Jeez, Kate. This is why no one likes you. Except for Steven. Jeremy, wait up! Where are we going to now? What about that way? Alright, man. Following after you. I trust that you know the way. You know, I'm very slow, Jeremy. You want to give me a lift? Shepherd's Walk. Jeremy, are you fucking kidding me? We just came from over there! <sighs> I'm gonna go check out over here, Jeremy. You just can't stop me. That's what I'm gonna do first. Oh, do we have another thing here?
you doing that? I saw you doing that. Stay away from me. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so far. What are you talking about? It's traveling down the wires. Dear God, when have you lost your mind? Where is Kate? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? It's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. No, get off. No, no, Sam, stop it. You weedy little shit. It's give me mine. Can. Give me the Just can. Stop it. I need Throw it. up. Paint can. starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back. Oh, Christ. The fuck, Jeremy? Can I go in here? Store closed. Sorry, Dave. Dave, let me in. So what, he's painting the store? I mean, well, he was getting the windows, at least. Nice of him. This game's making me ready for a nap. <laughs> the music's just like, ah, oh, so serene. Come take a nap. It'll be great. Jeremy went over here. Where did Jeremy go? Oh. What's up, man? All right, sorry. I thought you went over there. Where do you think she is? Stephen, what's going on? Screw Kate. It's all her fault anyway. What's that mark on your face? Going well, huh? Stephen! Stephen! Is that you, Jeremy? Is that the little blip? No, oh, you're not Jeremy. Where's Jeremy? Should go up there? Up there? Nah, this is not a spooky game. Although, if I find another spooky game, I'll play it for El Streamo. This is just nice walking simulator. So, look at this. Isn't this lovely? This is so lovely. Who needs stairs? I do, actually. You can really use a good set of stairs. I want to go check out... Is this a church? I'm going to choke... Well, loaves and fishes we can manage, but Father garden Jeremy, designs and people... Might I have a word? Shut up, Wendy. Spoils, of course. Meg, will you excuse us, please? Uh, see you back at Charlie's later. Cheerio, Wendy. I was speaking to Barbara. She said there were some irregularities about Mary's morphine. Good grief. I mean, those are private medical records. Barbara should know better than to be discussing that sort of thing with you. If Dr. Wade finds out, he'll have... No choice but to suspend her. Damn it, Wendy. Your brother is grieving. Mary was sick for a long time, and I'm glad it's over for her. Go and support Frank. He needs you now. God knows what you did. He sees. I just break and overlook Mary's weakness, but you, a man of the cloth, if you, have an you issue bring with... shame on this parish. If you Dang. have an issue with me, I suggest you write to the bishop of the diocese. I have parishioners to attend to. Excuse me. No. Oh, Jeremy. Oi! Cool your jets. Going up here, Jeremy. You can follow me if you want, or you can go off on your own merry way. I don't give a shit. This is my world now. No one else is here. This is my castle. Stop following me, Jeremy. Come on. Jeremy, unlock the door. Come on, let me have my castle. I just want my stupid castle, Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremy, I'm so slow. Now I have to walk all the way back. Yes, yeah, it is canon that my, my everybody's gone to the rapture character is indeed pantsless. Is that a golf club? Nope. That'd be way more interesting if it was a golf club. 
Oh wait, I can open this. Thank you for unlocking the door, Jeremy. Gosh, it's very dark in here. There's, there's a stupid bench in my... Get out of the way. Can't actually... Oh, can I go around this way? It's very dark in here. Okay, oh, influenza. All right, hey God, you get everyone else. You want to, you want to beam me up too? Karina, look down at your body. Oh my God. I, I'm not wearing pants. In fact, I don't have any legs. You know, the saunter walk is fine, but maybe we could up it to like a brisk, a brisk walk. Chad. You got me. You got me joking, pineapples. I'm going to put this on my head. This will be my floral crown, for I'm the king of this land. Just me on top of in this graveyard with a floral crown, no pants, no legs, just a floating torso of a man. All right. I guess I don't need to be here. See you down there, Jeremy. I'm on my way. I'll get there in a few <laughs> few years. Maybe if I look down, I can get better frame rate. Don't have to render all that space. Jeremy, were you this way? Or are you down more? I can't really tell. Isn't that the way we came? No, wait, wait, wait. Jeremy, I'm turning around. Where are you? Fuck. I totally, I'm so bad with, like, directions. I'm just gonna walk this way and wait till I see Jeremy. Yeah, the, the, the other name for this game is Finding Jeremy. It's a gas station over there. I could get a car. Although I'd probably drive like a slow asshole. Knowing my character. The birds didn't go to the rapture. What's the deal with that? Oh, hey, Jeremy. Jeremy, you want to grab us a car? What's that? What's that? What? What? It was just some distortion of physics. I may not understand it yet, but it wasn't an accident. All of the clocks, what happened at Tower 6, it's just not random. It was an effort. An attempt to... Boring. <laughs> yeah, okay, sorry. It wasn't just some distortion of physics. Uh-huh. So wait, communication. I may not understand it yet, but it wasn't an accident. All of the clocks, what happened at Tower 6, it's just not random. It was an effort. An attempt to communicate. I'm telling you, it's aliens. Bye, Anthony. Thanks for stopping by. Jeremy, are you fixing up a car for us? How about some of Carol's fine ice cream? I think that's what that means. You want some? This should just be called my my adventures right. with Jeremy. Have a look at this. Hello? Oh, I don't believe oh. it. Charlie. Not real people. Charlie. All the empty houses. He said a load of stuff had been taken. What's up? It looks like someone's been collecting their own supplies. Plain near. Nice. Well, we've got enough stock in the warehouse to keep the entire village going for months. We should get a truck. 
Well, and go and get all of it now. Yeah, why not? It's Appleton. It's that bloody crackpot, Stephen Appleton. I'm gonna fucking do him. Sam, it's fine. Nice. We better get moving before the weather turns. You come in. We'll swing by the camp and get Rachel on the way back. Yo, Jeremy, you got us a car yet? <laughs> Saving Private Jeremy. <laughs> I listen to this soundtrack while I'm at work and like working in the back office. And like after dealing with customers, it's like, man, I just need I need a soundtrack to just fucking relax to. And I put this on and then I fall asleep and it's great. Charlie bit me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Buster. Alright, Jeremy, where are you off to now, buddy? I'm just gonna head down the road. Like... Sort of... Seen where you might have gone... That way... Uh... Haverton Road. Your music? It could be the deer. Maybe the deer performing a an aria in the, the forest. Shut up, birds! I'm looking for my friend Jeremy. Wait, is that Jeremy? Ah, there he is! Hey, Jeremy! So, this is a Bioshock game because everyone's gone to the Oh no, this is Wendy. Alright, Wendy. I kind of prefer Jeremy, but I guess you'll do. Where are we going, girl? What's up? You're a lot more clingy. Why are we going this way, Wendy? Wendy, don't do this. Okay, fine. I'm coming. I'm coming. Wendy. Don't be a bitch. I'm, go I'm gonna go this way, Wendy. Fuck you. I'm just going this way. You can follow along, you can do whatever you want. God, she's following me. She's keeping her distance, I can appreciate that. Oh, she's coming at me? No. Nope. Oh, just for a few days, yeah. First thing in the morning. I don't want the kids to catch this flu if it's going round. It's probably that father Jeremy spreading it around. He was my best friend, guys. Don't talk about him like that. Summer fate. It seems very quiet in the village, actually, Wendy. Jeremy. Bullying to be done. Oh, father, I didn't know you were here. Clearly. Listen, I came up here to tell Amanda that we've had some vandalism in the village. It must be a teenage thing. Tagging, I think they call it. Someone's painting all over doors and things. Little vandals. Goat's blood. Well, I'll tell Neil to make sure we're properly locked. <laughs> That's up what I would paint doors with. A good man like my Eddie, gone. And these thugs and yobs running around defacing property. He gave everything to his country, and look what he got in return. Nothing but an early death. He had a good life, Wendy. He had a short life. God, this, this, is this the Wendy I'm following? Oh, my birds, father. Lives lived unencumbered, free and simple. Fucking That's hater. <laughs> Yeah, you have fun with your birds, the Wendy. Is this Amanda's house? Oh, we got another radio. Is up there? Can I climb? I think I'm too lazy to climb this. Oh no, I am. All right. Every computer in the observatory has set itself to 607 a.m. June 6, 1984. I don't understand what that means. Well, you're supposed to be the smartest person in the world, Kate. Figure it out. What's this? Danger! Do not attempt to leave. You will be detained. Well, I guess I gotta get inside. Man, they really are freaking out over this flu. This alien flu. Hey, 
Hey, Wendy, I hear some of your birds. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a saw so I have a weapon at hand. The neighborhood is full of singing kids trying to be goth. They just want to paint this town red. Like their soul. I think that's how it goes. Truth be told, I'm not 100% sure. This looks like a nice little spot. You are here, Tempworth Forest. So are we trying to get to the observatory then? I'm not good with directions, but okay, I'll just keep going this way. Oh, wait, is there no path now? Fuck. Well, maybe I'm a glowy thing too. Because, like, I don't have any arms, I don't have any legs, I could just be a flo floaty glowy thingy. Go that way. I think I'd be able to illuminate, like, my own pathway. On top of the car. It got as far as the Haberton substation before we cut the lines. The interchange there just started dialing numbers at random. And the symptoms you're seeing match those we've been tracking here. Sickness, headaches, nosebleeds, eventual hemorrhage, then just light. Whatever the hell that means. Then we've got to stop it before it finds another way out of the valley. Clive, you've got to order a strike. An airstrike. We have to kill it. No. No, uh, I don't agree. We've quarantined the valley, we've cut the lines, it's contained. What if you're wrong? Are you happy to have that on your conscience? Steven, yes. I said it's contained. Steven's fucking crazy, dude. That's that's the moral of the story. game finding pants three pants and a trench coat wait <laughs> that's not right if I was gonna find pants it'd be in here it'd be in this house or not Frank. Oh, Carboy, this is traveling Sherlock. You copy over. You damn bugger, Charlie. You don't do it when you're using the phone. You say this too seriously, Appleton, I'm telling you. It is serious. It's not larking about. You'd be listening to your number stations again, Frankie. It's not funny. <laughs> it's serious stuff. And you should mind it. Now then, I'm assuming this is about a point. I am going to the Whistler. My round, I think. Oh, I'll never argue with that. Frank, have you seen the sky? It's amazing. Don't think I've ever seen anything like it. It's up with the sky. I didn't realize we were off to a poetry recital as well, Charlie. <sighs> Looks normal. Kind of gray, actually. I'm losing track of all these disembodied voices. Except for Kate and Steven and Jeremy, my best friend. Terry called this morning. Said there was a problem with Harvey. Said he couldn't get through to the vet, so I said I'd come round and take a look. There's a lot of dead birds. Oh, today. fucking Wendy. They're here, too, poor little things. I've been trying to get hold of Steve, and he always knows what to do. Got round here, and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably rabies. Wendy, shut up.
Maybe I'm being too harsh on her. I just, I, I really miss Jeremy. Why can't I have a Harvey ghost? That'd be cool. Or alien spirit thing. I'll tell you what. If I had the world to myself for a day, I would not be doing this. I would not be wandering around aimlessly outside. Listening to birds and voices of the damned. I'd be like marathoning a video game or something. Then sleeping and eating. Tip worth woods. Harvey! Harvey, come on, boy! Come on, Harvey! Come on, Harvey! Come on, boy! Harvey! Harvey! Harvey. Harv? I wonder if they named it after the Harv from Animal Crossing. Push it. Push the bloody thing. You push it. I told you it would get stuck. I should have just taken the car. This was a stupid idea. Moving here was a stupid idea. And I told you, Barbara said they blocked the roads. Oh, you go and look then. Wait, is that Harvey? Harvey! 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 This game turned into finding Harvey. Harvey! Oh, I hear some s swirling nonsense up here. Is that you, Wendy? Or is that Harvey? Please be Harvey. What? I don't follow you. Can we trust him? Harvey Dent. Oh god, my voice cannot go low right now. Wendy, I swear to fucking god. This is a circle, isn't it? I think we're just going in a circle, because now we're going backwards, Wendy. this? The autumn Okay, this is different, actually. Phone call from Steven. Ugh. He wants to shut down the receiver. Something about instances across the valley. There's intermittent electrostatic discharges radiating out of Tower 6. Hi. All the electrics on the main gate are blown. I'll find time to take a look once the data stream begins to calm down here. I'm, I, I just came from that way. I'm not. I'm not trusting you anymore. What's this? Oh wait, Tipworth Gorge. No, that's different. Going this way. I legit want to do. Want to dog to. I legit want the. Oh, okay. I got it. <laughs> you know. I legit want the dog to be two face on a dog's body. Oh my god, that's horrifying. Are these all just dead birds? But I hear them. Am I hearing the ghosts of the birds? I'm just walking along. Out here. Wait, this is back to the beginning, isn't it? It says Harvey's, isn't it? Fuck! I did go backwards. How did this happen? Why I get so turned around? I'm so bad with direction. Yeah, you speak all because of fucking you! You're messing me up! I'm going this way! You keep throwing me off my track! I don't know where I'm going. And you're not helping! Sure is a way to up my walk speed. Craft myself some better shoes that I don't have or need. Here you, Wendy. 
pretty sure that's the way it came from, wasn't it? Shut up. I think it's this way. Narrow road. I don't remember this, Wendy. I think this is new. That's a butterfly. Butterfly in the sky. I can't see him. Should we go down? Just leave it. We've got to keep moving. Sean! We can't just leave him. He must be really badly hurt. Jesus, Diana. We've got the kid in the car. We should just keep driving. We can't just drive off and... Look. He's there. He's in the car. Oh, oh he's hurt. we got to get down there. I said, leave him. We've got to get out of the valley while we can. Oh my god, he's trying to undo his seatbelt. Here we are. He's fine then. Okay. I want to see what's in the car. I don't see anything. Oh, it's just some wood. She saw some wood. She's really worried about it. Humans get right. Oh, wait. What? No, I'm going this way. I do not trust you. Why are you going down in the valley? Are you fucking with me? I know, I'm not gonna follow you. I did that once and you messed me up. I'm not gonna trust you. You're just not trustworthy. Oh, shut up. I'm going this way. You just. just how it is. So I read online that this game is like four or five hours. <laughs> uh, yeah. What's happened? Steve, thank God. Listen, I need you to get to the junction box. Almost the foot! No, stay back! Don't come up here! Oh, Christ. It's a... Bloody idiot! <laughs> Where the hell did they think they were going? I think they must have thought they could walk out along the line. Well, there won't be any more trains now. You're a callous bastard, Stephen. Just pragmatic hell. Did you say there's a working phone in the junction box? I hope that's not Chris's blood. Well, uh, we'll see how long I last. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm curious, but also four to five hours is a pretty long time. Um... For uh, just walking and arguing with essentially myself. Here's on. Sir, sounds like there's like a little tiny T Rex over here. Ah, oh, it's just Wendy. Shut up, Wendy! Jesus! I'm so fucking lost. This all looks the same as before, but I think it might be different. Uh, frame rate. Bear with me, frames. Oh, here we go. There's something. 
There's something in the observatory with me. I can feel it reaching out to me. When it's close, I'm overcome with the most profound sense of loneliness. Kate, I thought you said you didn't need anyone. Fucking deal with it. Hello? Ah! Okay, I guess it only opens this way. Hey. Hey. Okay, there we go. And the music score is fucking great. That, yes! The music is amazing. Got some more paint. Another paint situation over here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I thought someone was trying to kill me. Steven. Steven. God damn bloody thing. Jesus. Come on, not now. Place of Cheez Its. Jesus, come on, you bastard. Oh, come on. That scene was brought to you by Steven Can't Start the Car. Steven? What? Wendy? Are you in here? Steven, are you here? It's your mother. Answer me. Oh, Wendy's Steven's mother. Steven! No. What have you done, Steven? Kate. Your son's fucking not so. Oh, here it is. There must be a logic to the pattern. Huh? It's shifting in response to me. It's alive. It's the only explanation. It's an alien. Can you drive to a more fun game? <laughs> I don't know if I have any games I can swap to. Uh, installed. Probably play something on my PS4. Where's Kate? Are you here? All right, let's see what we got here. Come on. Come on. Is that not doing it for you? Okay, good. Stephen? I can hear the planes. It's the government coming to rescue us. Oh, it's Look nighttime. Now. It's all gonna be alright. I can hear the jets coming. It's like when Eddie came home. It's like your dad coming home again. He's getting nuked. I'm here. I'm down here. This way. Wendy, we're not coming for you. You're fucked. The aliens just suck her up. Now it's all dark. It's all spoopy.
very dark and very quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't like the dark. So Wendy got killed? How can you tell? She just kind of screamed and then <laughs> exploded. Well, okay, when I put it like that, it sounds like she definitely got killed, but... Do the aliens take her? Oh. Are you still Wendy or are you someone new? Frank! What's up, my dude? Lead the way, Frankie. Oh. Frank. Frank, you got a great voice, my dude. Oh, it was the strike mentioned earlier. Ew. Where are we? Where's the you are here sign? Frank, you got a whole orchestra here. Are you going to be more helpful than Wendy? No. Damn it, Frank, I can't get over this. I don't have any legs. Frank's really hitting those high notes now. Orbkistra. <laughs> Computer is like, why, why, why are you doing this to me? Yeah, this was from before. Damn it! I just went in a circle! Fuck! <laughs> Me back to the house. I can't. I can't do that low. Alright, Frank. You could have at least warned me I was going the wrong way. That would have been a helpful thing to do. I just have a little sip of my drink. All right. Some more dead birds. Yeah, shoes on the phone line. You know what that means. Is there another radio? Here, it's over here. Can't reach from over here. Oh, here we go. Oof! Come on! Ah! That! Ah, hey! Whoa! 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 Okay. All the power spiked with the last discharge and then went out again, and I could see the aurora dancing around Tower Six. At the same time, the headache intensified, and I think. I began to hallucinate. Old and new memories are clashing and tumbling around me. <laughs> We're on the cusp of a breakthrough. I can feel it. Okay. Let's 
No, I don't know. Tell me, Kriana. It's where you get a nice cold glass of Pepsi. This this woman brought to you by Pepsi. I'm not sponsored by Pepsi. I don't even really like Pepsi. Damn it! I ruined that moment. I also ruined that that almost branding. Frank, you around? Am I going around in a circle again, or is this the right way? Crofts Lane. Ice cold Pepsi. You know, this game would probably be just two hours if you could, like, run. <laughs> is this a... Is this Frank or is this a memory? Oh no, I think this is just Frank. I am getting to Frank. The radio telescope in Tower 6 is burned out. The background radiation coming in from the Penrose region is off Hi, the Gavin. scale. It's like mathematics is bending along with the light. Everything is bathed in a strange glow. Cool. My face is still numb from the burn. Ooh. All right, Frank, where'd you? You're over there. Okay, I'm gonna just go this way. You know who loves Pepsi? I know someone who just loves it. Me? I don't know. Right now I'm kind of a Coca-Cola kind of person. Depends on my mood. Otherwise, switches between that, water, and green tea. I'm super boring now that I say that out loud. <laughs> okay, that looks like something new. Damn it, Frank! Can you give me, like... Oh, don't want... Oh, wait, I can just go over that? I didn't know that, Frank. Sorry. Alright, we got... We got something over here. Oh. It's over here. A little bit. Frank! Frank, for God's sake, stop! Keep back, you bastard. I know what you've done. Where's Lizzie? Frank's Where a badass. She? I've got to find her. You stay away. Someone's got to warn them. Someone's got to stop it. You can't stop it. You have to understand. You hate me, I get that. But if we don't do this, it's not just the valley, it's everything, Frank. It's all gone. You're talking bollocks. You can't stop it! Jesus! You take one step closer. Bash your bloody skull in, I swear to God. All right, right. all right, I'm going. But if you see Lizzie, tell her to get out. There's Hi, Inferno. Time. Please, Frank, for her, not me. Sure, that doesn't care. You can save her yourself. Now, who's Lizzie? I have to stay. Someone has to be here to confirm that everyone is dead. That's Steven's, like, all-time dream job. Yeah, Frank, you almost blew him up. It's pretty cool. I'm going this way, Frank. Um. Come on. Is that the size of a child? Or is this just a really tall fence? YouTubers don't count as people? What? Does that mean everyone who's on YouTube is not a- is not a people? How- how do- get there? Me wanty very. Oh, I hear another radio. Oh, there's- there's a good pal Frank over there. Alright, 
Frank. See ya. Got the telescope up and running again, but the pattern has burnt itself onto the lens. It's soaking up light and radiation, but not routing it anywhere. So I can only guess that it's using it as an energy source in its attempts to communicate. It needs more power. More power! I could boost oh. the reception by using multiple towers. So, did Kate just record these, or is she doing this right now, or is she doing it then, or is she- uh -huh, I'm on my way to the windmill. You're an Irish mate? That means you mate with other Irish folk. Shh, be a door. Be a door. No! No! Let me go over! Please! It's kind of beautiful. We don't have any, like, cultural background when we're on YouTube. Each and every one of us, we're all one. We're like one giant asshole of a person. You know what? It's kind of beautiful. I want to go up to the windmill! Come on! How do I get up there? Maybe I gotta go over this way. Damn it, no, there's that stupid fence! Bye, joking pineapples! I think I hear Frank up this way. Okay, maybe this will lead me to the windmill. What's this? Give me a you are here. Give me a hearty you are here. I can't. I can't tell. It doesn't. I can't make. Wait. You are here. Okay, I'm up there. I seem to be going up. I wanted to go towards the observatory. But instead I've been going north. Ugh fuck it, I'm going to the windmill. <laughs> That's the twist. All the people in this town have become YouTubers. That's what the rapture means. You're right. They're commenting on everyone's videos. And they're they're dank maymays. Look at that sunset rising set. Oh, there's Frankie boy. Hey Frank, what's up my dude? What's going on? No, you're Lizzie. Oh, I am sorry Lizzie, my bad. Where are we? We're in the lakeside holiday camp. Oh, we got a memory. Oh, and a little bit back. Mrs. Graves! Lizzie, Mrs. Graves! Rachel? Hey, what on earth's going on? It's been awful. The thunder and the lightning and all the power went out. And everyone was in the hall, so I told them all to stay put. And then Sean... Sean Davis said he wasn't going to be told what to do by a stupid bloody girl and went out for a cigarette. And then Dick come back. And then Di, she went out after him and she didn't come back oh, either. Where is Dylan? Was he with Sean and Di? No, I've been looking after him. It's nighttime now. Do you think they'll come and raining. I, I don't know, Rachel. I don't care what anyone thinks. I just know if he was my baby, I could never leave him. Even if the whole world was coming to an end, I'd make sure he came first. You'd be a good mum, Rachel. Oh, don't worry. It's fine. Go, go back inside and tell everyone that they're doing a great job. A really wonderful job. I just got a few things to finish up here, and then I'll come in and join you. Right. Go on. Lizzie seems like a nice lady. I approve of you, Lizzie. 
Oh, it's still raining. No, yay, no, yes. Yes, it's just raining now. Oh. Nice. Good game, Carl. All right, hello. You can't save them. Just pack a case and meet me at the station. They've closed the lines. Weren't you listening to the radio? Because of the flu. There is no flu, Lizzie. Oh, Christ, Stephen, I'm not stupid. Of course there's no flu, but the stations are still closed. There's an access footpath that runs alongside the main tunnel. You can get out that way. They won't have thought of it. You know what's going on, don't you? You can't use the phone anymore. Well, I'm like you're not using one right now. Funny. Listen. Just don't use the phone after this. No TV or radio either. It can hide in the signal. Oh, you make it sound like it's alive. I don't think we have a word for what it is. It's aliens. That's what it is. I'm telling you, it's aliens. Back quietly. Meet me at the station tomorrow, all right? I feel awful lying and leaving all these people here. It was a brilliant idea about the show. Top marks for that, you clever thing. I thought you love Kate. Steven, do you just go around saying you you love people? Hang on, I gotta get some soap. You won't even give me that! Hmm. Lizzie, are you out here? Coming for you, Lizzie. Reception pool. Don't mind if I do. Steven's a slut. What this? This is everybody's gone to the rapture. Except for me, I guess. Or I'm just, I'm just some person who's woo. Did you see that? That was spooky. That was scary. This is turning into a scary game. I'm just gonna wear my metal helmet, and I'll be safe from the lightning and the rain. All right, what have we got in here? Is your hip giving you grief today? Always gives me grief. And I managed for the last ten years, so you're a little late for the knight in shining armor routine. Sue yourself and run you trying to help. God oh, damn it, Stephen. I'm not some useless, sappy girl that you can just string along. That's forever. right, Lizzie. You tell him. I found you. I made all of this. I built it on my own when everyone else had written me off as some poor little cripple. You know that's not how I see you. Well, you weren't there, were you? No. You'd given up on me long before the. You're accident. better than what him. What do you want from me, Lizzie? I love you. I'll do anything. And you said that to Kate, Lizzie. Don't believe him. I thought that. I love you too, but sometimes I think you just say what you think everyone else wants to hear. That's totally not true. I've heard Stephen talk. This is a public service announcement from Haverford District Council Emergency Measures Committee. Road and rail closures are being implemented to help contain the outbreak of influenza. Is that God? Calm and indoors. Local community leaders, head teachers, scoutmasters, and members of the clergy oh. will act as your Hi representatives God. during this period. Be sure to report any symptoms of illness. Let's go to the lake. Does Bit Piff still do uploads? Piff pretty much streams every day on his Twitch account. He's uh, he also posts when he streams on Twitter. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Ooh. Aki, Aki. Oh. Alright, this is about to turn into a sexy game. Let's do it! Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Oh, it stopped raining for a bit. Now it's raining again. Ooh. Hey, Lizzie, is that you over there? Piff's fucking rad. Bleh. 
Oh, wait, is that the windmill? It's so close now. Well, I'm gonna go to the lake first, because the windmill broke my heart. Just gonna squeeze my little body through here. I'm gonna go for a little swim. Nope. Guess I'm not. I'm just gonna get part of me wet and then be on my merry way. Is that a map over here? Eh. Wait. I hear swirly. Oh, hi, Lizzie! What's up? I wish I understood what you were saying. Hell if I know. Okay, you are here. Oh, hey, we got pretty close to the observatory. Well, I mean, we were up there before, now we're here. Good old Jay playing that game, too. That's screaming? <laughs> Was that all, the only thing I heard then? Hello? Oh, there's a... There's ghost children, I think, playing on the swing set. Can I just walk over this? She's not in the office either. Well, they live nearby, don't they? Yeah, in the village. You don't think she's gone to look for Mr. Graves, do you? Hey, he was on the phone he before. He will turn up when he's sober. He'll be all right. Do you want me to go and look for him? No, it's okay. Come on, I promised the kids another shot the last number than I promised everyone a cup of tea. You're very like her, you know. Like Lizzie. Me? No, I'm not. First chance I get, I'm out of here. No, I'm not a ghost, too. I can't just walk through things. This game is very pretty. They're screaming because shark's eating their candy. <laughs> I'd be screaming too if shark was eating all my candy. I'd be like, come on! This is my candy! What are you doing? You're just a shark! I hear the binary linguistical words of Kate. There you are. Sexy bed. Is that it? Oh God, Stephen! What's happening to me? Kate, that's the most useless one yet. I don't know what's happening to you. But why are you asking for Stephen's help? You already gave him the cold shoulder. I can understand why now that he said I love you to two other women. I mean, including you, so it'd be just two women in general. I am super calm. Local community leaders I'm not indoors. Mrs. Is Graves. John, baby Dylan, is he alright? He's fine. Di, come on. It's okay. Let's get you a cup of tea. Mrs. Graves, I need to tell you. Leave it, Di. If you try and get out of the valley, all the roads are shut down. I know. I was driving really fast, but the other car was on the wrong side of the road, and oh God, I think Di, for fuck's sake, leave it. It's alright. Hey, you're alright. Sean's all right. Baby Dylan's all right. That is what matters. Everyone's all right. <laughs> Except for know. that dead guy. Oh. Now I need your help. Some of the children, they're getting quite frightened. So Rachel and I, we decided to push forward the show, keep them occupied. You said the other night you'd play piano. Can you help with that? Yes, yes, I suppose so. But Mr. Graves, Rob can look after himself. He's a big boy, you know. Don't worry. Head to the hall and find Rachel. She'll tell you what needs practicing. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Graves. Yeah, Sean, go and find Reese, please. See if he needs some help. Yeah, of course. Go on. Okay. Oh, she's signing them, not me. Lizzie! 
Oh, I, hi. I just was calling for you and you showed up. Thank you. Bye, Buster. Oh, don't let me stop you from writing an essay. Pretty sure we came from that way, Lizzie. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> All right. This away. Walk along the lonely road. Oh, there we go. Oh, is someone leave the grill on? Someone was just grilling. Who was it? There's a tennis court. I don't know how going to the tennis court will help, but I'll go there. This isn't a tennis court, or this is a very weird game of tennis. Some more pretty music kicking in. Lizzie, you have a beautiful voice. Your phone. I'm gonna answer it in about four years when I get to the phone booth. Are phone booths really still a thing? Last phone booth I saw was just like an iPhone charger booth. Hi, this is Kate Collins and Stephen Appleton. Leave a message. Stephen, it's me. I'm leaving. I've waited as long as I can. If you are there to meet me, I'm leaving for the station now, but I am going anyway, whether you're there or not. But I love you. Please be there. I love you. Oh, Lizzie, you're better than you're better than stupid old Stephen. He's got anger issues, and he's also insane. We're here. Okay. Fuck, this is like the worst game for me. Like someone with zero, zero sense of direction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just poke our head over here and see if there's anything worth. Yeah, I'll go this way. Oh, is this the tennis court? Oh, thank God! Oh, finally. I was worried we'd never find it. Is there a note? Can I actually read notes? Let's see. Tennis court closed until further notice. Lizzie, why'd you have to close down the tennis court? Oh, hear more Kate. Where is it? Is it over in here? Well, it's over here. Oh, it's right there. It's on the ground. I didn't care that he was screwing her. Ooh. What made me angry was that he treated me like I was too stupid to notice. Damn. I dream through the light store and see the powder dancing on his skin as he burns. I wake up with eyes full of liquid light. 
What? I'm going to concentrate all five remaining towers on the same point in the sky. If it is establishing conduits for communication, that should create a jump in bandwidth. Kate, you're speaking nonsense. Is that awkward for you to listen, Lizzie? It's okay, you can chill over there. Say holiday camp. Oh, Lizzie, 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 come on. What? 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 Okay. Coming on in. Don't mind me. Oh, hi. It's very it tight in here. It's fine. It's like a sunburn, but it's a funny shape. Is it sore? I can't feel it at all. Don't fuss over it. I can't believe that you left Kate there. Why won't you tell me what happened? She's probably not even noticed I've gone. Uh, it's really nothing. You're lying. Don't lie to me. Fine. We had a row. She'll work all night anyway. Stephen, listen to me. Was there an accident? Is that how your face got burnt? It's nothing. Something. Just got a bit shaken up and then we fought. She wanted to stay and collect more data. Was she burnt as well? Is everything all right? Jesus, Liz, are you sleeping with me or her? She's Fuck. fine. We're both fine. I don't want to talk about her. Steven, you're an asshole. <laughs> I just worry. Well, don't. Come to bed. No. Uh oh. Uh oh, I'm in the way. Yeah, Lizzie, he's a dickweed. This is the dickweed song. <laughs> He's a dickweed. Oh. I'm on a word with you. What? Get over here, soft lad, and keep your voice down. Do you know who I am? You work for Meg Holloway. Charlie Tate. You can call me Charlie. What's this about, Charlie? Rachel Baker. What about her? Oh, come yeah, on, we're giving existential crises to, to teens up in here. What happened? She's not a kid. You try telling her dad that. He'll bloody kill you. I love her, though. You can't stop love. Wait, Reese, what's up? I'm not telling you to stop anything. Just be careful, that's all. That's why I came from Lizzie. We're going this way. I think this is back at the start. This is a public service announcement from Hamilton District Council Emergency. Uh, you are here. Yeah, I think we've just made a loop. <laughs> Lizzie, I'm reading the sign. <laughs> Jeez. Local community leaders, head teachers, scout masters, and members of the clergy will act as your representative. Be sure to report any symptoms of illness. Ooh. Okay. What? Hmm. Are we all having an existential crisis? Oh my god, I'm gonna die someday! Okay, where are we going? Um, Reception, laundry, I'm so fucking lost. I just want to go to the windmill. There's Lizzie down over there. Can you take me to the windmill, please? We're back at the pool, Lizzie! We're making a circle! How do I get out of this hellhole? Okay, 
The windmill I saw it was this way. It sucks because like if I go the wrong way, I'm just slowly making my way one way and then I have to slowly backtrack. Cause this was the pool and then I went to the lake and by the lake I saw the windmill, but I didn't go towards the windmill. I need another map and a you are here. Hmm. I know. I'll just bring uh bring a map up on Yieldy Google. But he's gone to the rapture map. Nope, that just opened up a different link. Okay, here we go. I got a map. So let's see. Oh, I see. We started out by the observatory. Why couldn't we go in there? Did I not? Did I just totally avoid going in the observatory? Um, Lizzie, hang on. I'm looking up a map. Your jets, hang on. I'm really not sure where my destination is anymore. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know, Lizzie. I got nothing. One? Oh, there it is. There is one. All five towers are now operating together, and I've got the reception up to the red zone, but it's not enough. I'm going to try and route the signal through Tower 6 to create a singular point of reception and re-coordinate the optical array, which should, in theory, focus a signal spike on the point of origin. If I conceptualize this origin point as a seventh tower, then it makes a kind of sense. Kind of. I think we're moving so far beyond everything I understand about physics. Anyway, it's got to be worth a shot. Okay. All right. All right. You got me, game. I don't know where I need to go. I'm lost. Is that what you wanted to hear? But no, there's a windmill! There it is! Okay, we got this. I can do it. This is a public service. No, 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 don't stop me. I'm going to the windmill. Emergency measures, Commitment. Road and rail closures are being implemented to help contain the outbreak of influenza. Please remain calm and indoors. Local community leaders, head teachers, scoutmasters, and members of the clergy will act as your representatives during this period. Be sure to report any symptoms of illness. I don't think I can get there. Damn it! Fine. Fine, the game doesn't want me to go to the windmill. How to win the game, turn it off. Okay. I was looking at, as I was... Because <laughs> I have so much time between walking from one destination to another. I was looking at a guide and it, I think I missed something in the... The hall? So let's, I guess... Head on back. Hi, Lizzie. Let's see what we missed. All right. 
think this is the way back to the main hall. No, I'm not so sure. Shurchen? Not sure, Shurchen. Is this, okay, it was past the pool up here. Got it. Oh, actually, I want to be an author. Oh, very good. I wish I could write. I try writing, but then, like, I get, like, too impatient. It's, like, the same thing when I try and draw comics. Like, I really, I really want to do a lot of art and stuff, but then, like, when it comes to, like, comics, I get, like, I want to go straight to the cool stuff that I need help from people to, like, I guess build up the suspense, build a story would be a better way of putting it. Instead of going straight to the meat. Yeah, Lucy, hi. Alright. Let's see, we're looking for the main hall. That, that way, okay. Just gonna take a peek at this guide. Main hall. Maybe I didn't look around here enough. Huh. Can we go in the kitchen, maybe? I think I tried going into the kitchen, nothing happened. There's supposed to be an event here, but maybe I didn't get all the events in this place. Missing John Cole's. Oh. See, so yeah, I guess there's supposed to be an event on the stage, but I'm not getting it. This is a public service oh. announcement from Haverton District Council. Yeah, no, it's just a normal stage. All right, Lizzie, I'll try following you because I'm not entirely sure what I need to do. Back to the tennis area. Well, we were in here and we saw that whole situation. I guess I'll just follow Lizzie. I don't know, I don't know what else to do. 
Okay, Lizzie, if you're gonna be playing this game, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be dealing with it. I'm not gonna be dealing with it. So confused. Maybe I missed a spot? Maybe there's a part of this place I was supposed to go investigate and I didn't? That's always an uh, opportunity of nonsense. This game confuses me? Yeah. You're telling me? This place is kind of going here before. Post office? I think we were in here. Weren't we? Yeah, we were. Lizzie, what games are you playing? I don't know what you want from me. Needs more jetpacks. <laughs> okay, we've been... Have we been to the parking? Reception. Did we go inside reception? Is there a reception area we missed? I super do not know. Well, this leads me back out to the road. I'm gonna start backtracking if I... You need to work in 10 hours. Oh, boo. Well... This is a little bit of a stinky... Stinky Pete. Take a look at the map here. Hi, Lizzie. I'm lost still. Okay, I'll look at the map. Maybe that'll help. Okay, you are here. One, a lakeside administration. Okay, two. Uh, football pitch. No, backyard activities field. Uh, hmm. Oh, I seem to be going faster. Maybe, maybe I'm just like desperate to like move fast. Please remain calm and indoors. Local community leaders, head teachers, scoutmasters, and members of the clergy will act as your representative during this period. Be sure to report any symptoms. Hmm. This place probably smells like mold. Well, here we are again. But this is not where we need to be. I don't know where else we haven't been, though. Peter Pan auditions? Hell yeah! I want to be Peter Pan. Lizzie, you're fucking with me. This is the hardest situation I've ever been put to. What? Do we need to go in here? No? I'm gonna make another round, I guess. I don't know what else to do! Unless I see a different path I can take. Like the windmill. Maybe that's- maybe that's what I need to do. I need to- I need to fulfill my goal of going to the windmill. I 
remember the days when I acted. Then I had to stop because I have a bad jaw. I didn't have to stop. I also got busy too. Life takes off. Most of my mornings are spent unlocking my jaw. It's fun times, let me tell ya. Oh, this looks different. What are we doing here? I found another dead bird over at the swimming pool. That's the fourth one this morning. Did you fish it out? Yeah. Did you get a chance to think about that pay night? Oh, I'm sorry, Reese. I've been a little bit busy. Oh, Rachel. Oh, Rachel. Mrs. Graves, I was packing away the tennis things. Did you check Mr. Cole Shelley again like I asked you to? He's not back yet. I haven't seen him either. Do you think he went into town? Maybe. Yeah, something oh, like that. Oh, the dentists were booked in for a 4.30 tennis session, but they didn't show up. So I went to their chalet. You know, they always take the one near the campfire, but they weren't there either. I think maybe they went into the village for a hoover bag and might have given Mr. Cole a lift. A hoover bag? Why on earth would they do that? Well, I think maybe Mrs. Denton was hoovering and the bag broke, so they had to get another one. Because there's this dust all over their chalet. They exploded. They disintegrated. Ow, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm fine. Um, I, I have a, the, what is it? A lot of people have this problem. Uh, TMD. Uh, problem with the, it's like the joint where your skull and lower jaw, your lower jaw, your only jaw, your skull and your jaw meet. That joint for me, instead of um, being rounded, is like a square shape. So, like, that joint grinds a whole bunch. And sometimes uh, the, the sides of it get caught on the skull. And then it just doesn't want to uh, unhinge. I have a splint that I wear that's supposed to help. But even right now, it's very difficult to talk. <laughs> um... I, I tend to get like a lazy mouth and so when you hear me like sometimes I'll come on a stream and I'll be like hey guys what's up and I just sound drunk it's usually because my jaw hurts <laughs> oh is this the way to the windmill please night Gavin thanks for hanging out Please, you've taken everything from us. Let me have the windmill. Please. Glitch my way over there. This is a public service announcement from Hamilton District Council Emergency Measures Committee. Road and rail closures are being implemented to help contain the outbreak of influenza. Please remain calm and Yeah. Kate. Oh no. Elizabeth? Lizzie. Uh oh. I've heard a lot about you. It's good, you know, you and Emma, it's not difficult or anything. Should it be? I'm sorry? You said it wasn't difficult. I don't see why it would be difficult. You and Stephen <laughs> were together a long time ago. We moved away. Oh, Kate. It certainly isn't difficult for me. Jeez, I'm Kate. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you or. Well, I'm not offended. Listen, Elizabeth, I. But Lizzie. Lizzie. Right. You seem like an okay type of person. And I'm not trying to be rude, I promise. But let's try and be realistic here, huh? Let's, um, try and do our best. That's a British thing, right? Yeah, I bet. I suppose it is. We'll do our best then. Jeez, Kate's kind of a bitch, huh, Lizzie? cat uh yeah i mean it's it's annoying definitely uh if the the more i take care of it the better it becomes so 
I just gotta do a better job at taking care of it. Hmm. Okay, so we did miss some things. I guess I wasn't quite as observant as I thought I was being. That is okay. I'm just gonna bring up that map again. Because I think there's one of the camp that we're at. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, alright. So there is some stuff here. Oh god, it just is difficult to place where I'm at. I'm sorry, I had to burp. <laughs> Um. Okay. Is that, is that Lizzie? Once I find a map, I'll have a better idea of where I am, hopefully. Ah, here we go. Okay. So you are, well that's a map of the entire place. I need a map of just this tiny place. Damn it. Maybe I got all I need to get. I'm still kind of stuck going around this place again. We got the children screaming. You hear that alien sound effect? Fucking sweet. Well, gee dang it. I sure am lost. Sorry, I didn't mean to curse just then. I think this whole place is starting to get to me. Alright, here we go. Let's take a look. Alright, neat. Let me just confirm with the map here. No, not that map. This map. Okay. So, we got that. And two, three. I think we've gotten... I mean, the last one would be... Hmm... I don't know. Where's the administration? It's there. That's not right. Hmm... I don't understand! Take a look at this. Let's try going back to the main hall. Maybe that was enough to kickstart something? Maybe? Hopefully? Because it looks like where I need to end it is that little stage area. I could... Could be wrong. Oh. I can hardly look her in the eyes. Are you sure we got enough money? Yeah. Once we're in France, we can start working anyway. My dad will bloody skin you. We'll be in Spain and married by the time your dad knows we've gone. Oh. They're doing some whoopies. Alright, I think if I hold down shift, I do go a little bit faster. This is really making me, like, lose my sense of direction if it wasn't already lost, which it totally was. Lip-smacking sounds make you uncomfortable? Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat. I think that's why they always play, like, sexy music. Whenever there's, like, lip-smacking sound effects. Primrose. Primrose. Huh? We've been over here? Oh, this place is massive. 
Oh, your radio. Let's see what useless information Kate I has for us. The observatory, but couldn't. I stood at the gates, but couldn't conceive of a world outside. The strangest feeling, as if the valley, Stephen, everything was simply irrelevant. It just sounds like you, Kate. An idea of something, not a something itself. I'm losing track of time. Of whether I'm asleep or awake. My fingers have gone numb at the tips. It's like they still feel. But what they feel is no longer for me. Like the signal has been hijacked. Because of the aliens, Kate. But don't you understand? Lizzie over there. Oh, there's a phone booth. Is that where we came in, or...? Oh, I'm really super turned around. We got the phone booth. Let's try this place again. Do you have any magical words of wisdom? Is there going to be something that happens in here? Doesn't look like it now, does it? No, Lizzie's out there though. Hey Lizzie! Lizzie, I'm super confused. <laughs> How do I leave this place? How do I leave this place and just go on to the next? I think I've seen all I wanted to see, Lizzie. Please, Lizzie, I just want to go home. <laughs> I think after I'm done with this part, I'm going to just strictly follow a guide because I'm, I'm just not... I'm, I'm, I'm very much struggling to make sense of this place. There's some music kicking in. This is... You're so fucking lost, music. Snowdrop. I think we went over there, didn't we? No? Well, Lizzie's over here. Hey, Lizzie. <laughs> oh, there's that alien sound effect. Something in here? Whoa. Sorry, Liz. Whoa, wow, ah, hi! It like this? Yeah. I got into the habit of checking in first thing in the morning just to make sure he's had his pills. Mr. Coles is not a well man, Elizabeth. It's entirely possible he upped and wandered off. If things progressed, the mind can be a fragile thing, you know? It's just not very like him, that's all I'm saying, Doctor. He never misses the mid-morning bingo. He didn't smoke, did he? Not that I knew of. There's a funny... It's like ash. Well, that, that is odd. Reese cleaned an air yesterday afternoon. I'll have to have a word. It's not like cigarette ash. It's like human Try. body ash. Dr. Wade has just been a phone call. Ah, hi, Barbara. Back at the village. Apparently, Mrs. Barton has disappeared. All right. Wait, fuck, I've lost where Lizzie went. Lizzie. Oh, you're over here. This way? Ooh. Spoopy. Now we're back to the tennis courts. I think it was 
was in. Oh. I, I know that's no help. Are you leaving me alone? There was nothing we could do. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. How can a baby just leave me alone? Rachel, I'm sorry. Just running off with the baby. I wonder if getting lost is supposed to happen. What if the developers made the map in such a way that most people who play it get lost? It's a little far fetched, but it could be true. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, like, it's hard for me to say because I'm a person with, like, absolutely a zero. Like, I have, like, a minus five to, like, um, map checks because I fucking get so lost all the time. Is there something in here you want me to look at? Okay, yeah, there is. Thank you, Lizzie. It's just been on the radio that they're closing the roads. Something about the flu? D no one here has flu, Sean. There's no flu here. I also heard Mrs. Graves, and she said another family back from that. She said they must have left last night, but the car and all that stuff's still here. Screw this day. There's 15 people have been left in two days. I don't like it. I don't like it. Where's the baby? Asleep in the caravan. Sean, I don't want to sit around you waiting for it to get worse. I reckon if we leave now, we can get out of the valley before they get their acts together and close the roads. You think so? Yeah, we can go the back roads. Through the woods. I'll leave some money on the side for Mrs. Graves. You know her husband isn't back yet either. He's a boozer, right? That's what I've heard. That's your problem anyway. Don't be unkind, Sean. Come on, let's go and get Dylan. Dylan! Seems like a nice sort. Okay, I'm just gonna follow you, Liz. Don't you fuck me. I look away to rechat and suddenly you're gone. We went down this way. We came from this way, Liz! Liz, we've already been here! Liz, come on! Are you kidding me? I'm almost I've almost had it up to here, Lizzie. I think I went in here. It's quite something, isn't it? Oh, I guess not. Yeah, it is. Have you ever seen anything like it? They must be well happy at the observatory place. They're probably all partying there right now. This is right, boss. <laughs> it is. Right, that's me, short leash. Keep Sean? Tonight, bloody teething. Mrs. will kill me if I'm gone too long. Was Sean the, <laughs> like the, the husband? No, I... Maurice was in love with Rachel. Wasn't Rachel like 16? How old is Reese? Oh, Stevie, I remember that. Shit. Good times. Thank God it wasn't. <laughs> Thank God Jackson was the only one who needed to be there. <laughs> this is different. Okay, you're doing a pretty good job, Lizzie, and leading me to places I need to be. I appreciate that. Oh, wait. Oh. Wait. Fuck. You shouldn't be smoking, you know. Not in your condition. <sighs> Steven's fault. He got me started again. Steven. I'm gonna try and stop you. Oh wait, it's Jeremy, our good buddy. There's a storm coming. That's what Steven said. He said he'll meet me, but there's things he has to do first. He seems to think that all of this is connected to him. I don't know. I'm going anyway, whether he comes or not. I'm assuming Stephen has thought of a way through the quarantine. Oh, he's clever. You can't give him that. But you trust him, though. 
Well, I love him. So I'd hope that was good enough. Lizzie. Lizzie, no. Nah. If you can't get through, for whatever reason, I'm uh, getting people together at the village hall, rounding up stragglers, that sort of thing. Yeah, I've got all the campers together here, doing a show. Peter Pan. The kids love it. It'll take their minds off things. Right, Lizzie, are we gonna go see Peter Pan? Uh, I have no idea where we're going. Can I go up this way? It's not opening. Oh wait, but I can use this. Aha! That's a new one. Maybe now we can finally go to the main hall? Here's the main hall, Lizzie, this way. Give me something. Give me some. Oh, it looks like there might be something going on here. Oh, thank God I can progress with the game. Peter Pan. Darling child. Clouds and starlight. Starlight, starlight. First star I see tonight. You will be mine. Huh? Starlight. Sleep and love. Sleeping baby. Shadow dust. Clouds and starlight. Rampant starlight. When we're called to go, we must into starlight. Who's coming in? Sleep. I'm interrupting, sorry. Oh, a plane's going overhead and nuking them. Is that what's going on? Because that's really sad if that's true. <laughs> well, is it nighttime now? That's when everyone died. Are we just like reliving like the same shitty day of like what everyone does in their final moments? I have no idea what the fuck's going on. 
Yeah, they 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 were talking about an airstrike. And then there was an airstrike that apparently killed Wendy. Now you just during that last scene there was a um Are you still Lizzie or are you someone new? Um and just during that last scene you heard the planes overhead. Which me thinks but the, wouldn't the buildings be destroyed unless it was like a weird magical nuke? Oh, there's someone new. There's two people over there. Lizzie's introducing me to someone, I guess. Is it Jeremy? Is this my best friend Jeremy? You guys, wait up. Hey. Hey. Well, it's just be all by myself over here, then. That's fine, too. You guys don't have to wait up. I'll just be by myself. See if I fucking care. I don't care. Yeah, now you're just waiting. Poking your head over the edge there. Here I come. Almost there. Someone's playing Rocket League. Oh, look who it is! It's Steven! That son of a bitch. Hang on, Steven. I gotta answer the phone. Epic answering the phone. There's data coming through faster than I can encode it. I've already lost two processors. They keep burning out. Please, I love you. You need to get out of there. It's not safe. I need you, Steven. I need you here. I can open the gate manually. I can let you in. It's too dangerous. You don't understand what's happening No, here. you don't understand. We can solve this. We can find a way. I just need more power. I need to amplify the signal, and I can't do it on my own. You saw the opportunity. You ran the numbers, remember? We're responsible for all this. You and me. <laughs> it's not just you and me anymore, though, is it? Jesus, Kate, you're trying to talk to it, aren't you? Kate, you can't. Steven, I have to. Kate is crazy. Everyone in this place is kind of crazy. A little bit crazy. A little bit. It's completely dead. It won't start. It's only a short walk to the camp. I think we should split up. You go and fetch Rachel. I'll go back to the village and find Evie. I don't think we should split up. I don't want to either, Charlie, but we've got to. I'll meet you back at my house later on, okay? We can talk properly then. Why won't you tell me what happened? No, no, actually, you should stay at the camp tonight. Come and find me in the morning. Bring Rachel back. She's going to need her mother. Meg. Just take care of her. Meg! What is it, Charlie? I love you. Oh, okay. Just be careful, that's all. People throw around, I love you. It's like it's no big deal. You as well. Oh, let's see where we are in the map. Mm, where's the you are here sign? Oh, right there. Kai. Kai. This might have some sort of religious layer behind it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's about the rapture. I mean, I grew up Christianity. Can't say I'm in that same boat now, but I know of the rapture. I learned about it. And stuff. My vote's still aliens, though. <laughs> What's going on in here? Anything cool happening? Is that a phone? Hello? Walk so slow in buildings. I should say I walk slow in general. I walk even slower. Oh. But why on earth are you there? Why aren't you calling from home? It's hard to explain. I'm having to move around to follow it. Steven. Suitable host begins to amplify. 
Sorry, I don't know if I get much sense. They're talking about flu and a quarantine on the radio, but this... I know you're not that kind of doctor, but it all just sounds really weird. We don't know exactly what it is yet, but it's got something to do with the other night. Stephen, your face, the mark, do you think you're infected? It's not a disease, Lizzie. It's something else. There's something Kate said about patterns. I can't grasp it clearly yet. Okay, come over. Have some lunch. We can talk properly. Have you spoken with Kate? Well, she's locked herself in the observatory. She's buried in the data. But it's already out here in the world. I need to see how it adapts. How what adapts? Stephen, try to explain. What's in the phone? I mean, like, I don't know. Religion's like history and stuff. Like, learning about different cultures and stuff. I find that interesting. I don't know how much I believe into it, but you know, like, everyone has their own beliefs. That's cool. I wish I could, like, wholeheartedly believe in something. Maybe someday I will. But for now, it's totally aliens. Hi, Steven. I'm gonna go see what's inside. Oh. Oh, there it was. Eh. There you go. Do you think she'll like it? She's in an awful state, Steven. I don't It'll think It'll be an so. adventure. It'll mean putting down roots here, maybe a family. Oh, Stephen bought a house. Sure she wants children. What, to stay here? It's not her place, you know. Don't start that again, please. I mean, she's ambitious, love, and she's, well, older. She's not gonna wanna stay cooped up at home looking after the kids. Is that how you felt about me? Oh, stop it, Stephen. That's not what I meant, and you know it. I'm just saying you should make a choice. If it's a family you want, well, you know how much Lizzie wants a family. Jesus, Mum, I didn't come here for marriage guidance. I just asked what you thought about a fucking house. Oh, Stephen. Language. Yeah, I gotta agree. You have to understand, Kate is the most brilliant, extraordinary, wonderful person I've ever known. And stop. She's, she's like no one else. Stop fucking Lizzie, then. She looks at things. It's like she has whole worlds inside her head. I don't think you or anyone really understands that. Steven needs to be more faithful. That's my bet. Or advice. Oh, this opens. That's not a bad house. It's a cute little place. It's neat. Could, could use a little... Needs a little work, but, you know. Definitely definitely a place to start for a new family. Who else got lo lost with us at Gen Con, Stevie? <laughs> Have to <think>. Oh, hi! <laughs> I'm glad we all can be together and have no sense of direction. <laughs> like a true family. Alright, let's hear a radio. Physical changes are evident. Although the butterfly burn is now faded, I can clearly see the butterfly burn pours up close. As I record these words, I can feel myself hearing them as if for the first time, as if I'm both speaker and listener simultaneously. I am a scientist. I can only deal with the evidence I have. And this points in one simple direction. It's not in the observatory. It's in me. Oh, Kate's the chosen one. Kate's alien Jesus. Okay, we went in there. All right, Steven, where to next, big guy? 
What is that? It's not like a printer. A yieldy tiny printer. Oh. Phone booth up ahead. Kriana is best team mom. <laughs> No. Listen, I'm trying to make things right. There you are. Speak of myself. I'm in the old bunker at the substation. Just keep this band clear. If it's still alive, I'll try and check in every hour. Kate, I've convinced them to use the gas. I didn't know how else to stop it. I couldn't save them. Kate, it's in us, too. You're Jesus as well. Arrangements for myself after the strike, after I finish the job. You need to think of that, too. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it all. Wait, after the strike, aren't you just gonna be straight up dead? Hi, Steven. How long do you think you'll be streaming for? I don't know. I kind of want to see this all the way through, but it also just sort of depends on how... I mean, I've lasted this long. I feel like I, can, I should at least try and get to the end. Um... And I, I guess be disappointed for what I hear. You know the protocol. That doesn't matter now. It's figured out how to circumvent the telecommunications blackout. What? I didn't think it could. Kate understood. She saw how adaptable it was. How smart. Jesus Christ, you're talking about it like it's alive. You have to assume that everyone here is infected. We can't know We're that. We are infected. It's killed all the birds, and now it's in us. It's trying to leave the valley any way it can. The quarantine is not enough. You've got to remove the carriers. You've got to cut off its energy source, its food. I've already told you, Stephen, I'm not going to water you it. You have to. Now it knows we're onto it. It's going to keep on spreading as fast as it can. The quarantine and blackout will hold it in check. They've cut all of the phones out of the valley, so it's only you communicating Aren't out you now. you listening? It's figured out ways around it. Radio waves, something. All of the lines are cut, but the phones are working anyway. You've done all the right things, but it's not enough. You've got to stop it before it adapts again. Stephen, my, my family, my, my wife and kids. You know perfectly well what you've got to do. I can't do it. Don't ask me to do it. You're asking me to sign their death warrant, my own family. That's and fucked up. Aware of that. I'll still be here when you drop the fucking stuff. Don't you lecture me about sacrifice, you spineless little shit. Oh, Stephen. Maybe the drop wasn't a nuke, but some sort of virus, a virus that kills people over time. Yeah, that's true. Could be just like some kind of biologically kind of stuff. Hell if I know. Um, should I go upstairs? Yeah, might as well. I'm here. Anything up here? No, I think these doors. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Stephen Appleton fucking language! Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't hold back, which is kind of respectable. Not really. Just sort of makes you an asshole, but whatever. At least he's got character. There's flowers sprouting around me. It's beautiful. Ow! Doesn't <laughs> it open see on the other side? Okay, that's fine. Drive slowly. Alright, Steven. We're going here next. The seventh whistler. Are we here already or is this a different place? Oh, this is different. Nope. You look well. <laughs> I don't. But thank you. You too. 
How are you settling in? Nothing changes around here. I mean, it's great to be back. It still feels like home, I suppose. In a funny kind of way. It's been a long time, Stephen. Last time you saw me, I could still walk properly. You look pretty good to me. Stop it. For what it's worth, I'm sorry about how things worked out. Or it didn't. Or didn't, right. Do you think you made a mistake leaving? My mum tells me it's never too late to change things, to put things right. Funny. It's just what she said to me the other day. I have been wondering what she meant God, by that. That's so embarrassing. Sorry. Yeah, maybe I should go. Why? Stephen, we're both married. Oh. I, don't think this is a I didn't realize idea. Lizzie was married. We're just two old friends having a drink, that's all. Bye, Anthony. Just having a drink and a little bit of casual sex. A little bit of some casual sex. Is that a curry pint? Curry plus pint. Eh, interesting. Ooh. My computer wants to go to the rapture. Uh, it's this way. Public footpath. I have foots. Wait, no, I don't. That was a lie, but I will still go this way. Okie dokies. What we got here? Some sort of powery thingy, my bob. And radio. Pressure in my eyes again. I can't move my legs, can't feel my face. When I collapsed, the light was waiting for me there. Caught me, lowered me here. Now it's pooling around my feet, watching me. The printers are spewing out page after page of zeros. It's frightened, too. Is everyone smoking this place? It'll be okay. Oh, jeez, Kate. It'll be fine. I'll look after you. It's alone. Totally oh, fucking it's alien. So far. It's okay. I can help you. We can be together now. Ten seconds to signal fusion. We can be together. Three seconds. All right. Two. Steven, you want to explain what the hell that was? back. What about this way? UK oily? I hear a phone going off. Why do people have to put up fences? It makes it more difficult for me to break and enter. Don't they realize this? Don't they understand how difficult- What do you dent your face? It's nothing. You collecting feet? Looks like the supplies have been coming in. Huh? Again? This phone's a little strange. I can't pinpoint the logic of transmission. You what? What are you doing with that paint? Means the EMC are actually moving at the proper speed. Listen, Frank. Have you uh, heard anything on the radio about a flu outbreak? It doesn't seem much like flu to me. Oh, They're shutting down access to the valley to try and isolate it. No. There's something about the phones. I can't put my finger on it quite yet. What are you talking about? Hey, I'm still talking to you. Where are you going? He's still talking to you, Steven. You just walked away. That's kind of rude, my dude. Alright, going this way. Let's 
go here first, Steven, and then we'll go to the farm. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Clive. Nope. Clive, it's Stephen Appleton. I'm not Clive. Can you hear me? Over. I'm, I'm not Clive. Over. Come on, Clive. Where are you? I'm not Clive, and I'm right here. Over. Damn it. Cur language? Over. Kate, Kate, it's Stephen. That's close enough for my name. Hi, Stephen. Kate, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Kate. Yeah. Anyone? Hello? Yeah, I'm... Can anyone hear me? Stephen. Place, cute little cafe. Hello, welcome back, Joking Pineapples. <coughs> I'm sorry, I choked on my own saliva there. What a dead bird. This is Catherine Collins. Recording for posterity. It's all over. I don't know how long I've got. Whatever he did, whatever the planes were carrying, it's burning my lungs. Uh. Probably some kind of nerve agent. I suspect it's only exposure to the pattern that has kept me alive this long. I'm making my way to Tower 6. I'm going to fuse the signals from the optical array. I just, I just hope I can make it. You're right, you're right. What's up, Steven? Where are we? That way? It's not the way we came, Steven. I'm pretty sure we came from that way. Okay, following. This seems depressing. Yeah, I get that vibe too. Oh, I guess I haven't been in here yet. The Valley Farm. Daft old bird walking all the Why? way out here for it. You know Charlie would have dropped it off. What? And have that stinking great lorry of his poisoning my birds. He hey, sure would be driving it, obviously, since it's a hazard. I think he was hoping he could have a word with you about Frank. There's nothing to say. Oh, listen, Wendy, they might all be scared of you, but that's not going to work with me. You're 68 years old. Grow up. Talk to Frank. How dare you speak to me like that? Give me my bird feeder right now. Promise me you'll drop by and see your brother. Megan Holloway, give Not me. a chance. Promise me. It's for your own good, and you know it. You are a shamelessly manipulative and difficult woman. It's no wonder Charlie adores you so much. No wonder I do what? Oh. No wonder you never finish what you start. I thought I told you to check the incoming stock orders. Wendy, one bird feeder for you. I'll tell Frank you'll stop by. Oh! Charlie, <laughs> stop mooning around and stick the kettle on. Make yourself useful. Oh, I'm on top of a crate. Yeah, Steven, your mom's a bee. Just an elevator. Oh, it's Steven. Steven's over here. What we got? In here. Oh, here it is. Uh. Appleton! Leave it in here. You thieving bastard. I knew it was you. Listen, take everything you need. But then you have to leave. You don't understand. You can't be near me. Painting these stupid little pictures. Stealing food. Painting you pictures. Always were a little prick. Please, every second we're in proximity makes it worse. I'm a primary conduit. You're a fucking disgrace. Come here. Oh, don't touch me. Get off. What's going on? Come in here. Lord. Jesus, Get out over Sam. Us. Thinking you're so much better Sam, than the rest of us. No physical you contact. You stupid fucking missus. She's it. better than any of you. <laughs> 
Nice, good punch. I'm not sure who punched who. Sam. Sam. Oh, you kill Sam? Meg, please. Don't come near me. Meg. Oh. Meg, wait. Don't touch me. Please, you have to understand. It was an accident. Oh. Let go. Let's just go. Johnny, you have to understand. It was an accident. Just leave him. Did you take a hammer to him? Hmm. Well, I guess it was only a matter of time before Steven actually, like, murdered someone, so I, I guess that's alright. Hey, Steven, where are you at, buddy? Oh, I think I hear you over here, maybe? No? Yes, maybe? Steven, I should avoid people so I don't murder them. Steven immediately goes near everyone and murders someone. What's that noise? And noise. Is that a telephone? Well, the heating's on. Station Master's house. Howard Lantham speaking. Howard, it's Clive. Clive Smith. I need you to listen to me and not ask questions or interrupt. Can you do that? Yeah, I can. But why are you calling? The Emergency Measures Committee is imposing a quarantine around the valley. We've got an influenza outbreak in the village. We're suspending rail services, and we're also going to be shutting down the roads for a bit. Uh, you're going to be dealing with some anxious people, Howard, so you need to explain. It's all under control, and we'll be back to normal in a few days. All right? Open up the emergency store. There's posters and boards, along with a bunch of stuff that hasn't been used since the war. Grab anything you think might be useful. I need you to close up any unoccupied buildings, put posters up, that sort of thing. Make sure everything is all squared away in shipshape. You are a military man, I'm sure you understand that. Everyone doing their bit, following their orders. All right? All right? I think. Come All right. On. I knew we could count on you. Oh, it got him! It was in the phone! Jesus, my ears. What the hell was that? Oh, Howard's a goner. He's one of them now. Any doors open here? Steven, where are you, buddy? A radio. What's up with that radio? Repeating over and over to myself in the dark, eating cold food from a can with my fingers. Nice. My name is Catherine Collins. Hi, Catherine. I am Catherine Collins. Hi, Catherine. As if I can force the world to acknowledge my existence. Time has ceased to exist in any real terms. I'm reduced to marking out the days on the walls. Like a king woman. Nice. Isn't that cool for a scientist to like go back to the edge? Can I not go up there? I don't really see. Oh, Steven's up ahead. Coming! Coming, Steven! This is basically a story about how everyone got fucked over in a town. And Steven was crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you heard me, big guy. You crazy. Darling 
against even. Oh, this is where Lizzie left. I don't know if you'll ever listen to this. Uh, maybe you've decided to stay with Kate, and I, I can't blame you for that. Yes, you can. You're a beautiful, independent woman, Lizzie. I've got to think about the baby. You have a baby? And, well, <laughs> I should have left a long time ago. I've run out of excuses for not leaving now. But I do love you, Stephen. And I hope you find peace one way or another. Oh. There's planes coming. Oh, no! Oh, no! No, no, Lizzie, I'll save you! Oh, no, no, no! No, 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 no! No, Lizzie! You are the beautiful light in the dark! Is that what you wanted, Steven? Damn it! Damn it all to hell! Okay, I'm being overly dramatic. I'm still playing it. I can't say if I'm enjoying it or not, but I am still playing it, so that is something. Uh, planes equal death. Yeah, they. It's almost like you're reliving like the same day, kind of, sort of. Uh, when the plane strikes, they're dropping some sort of agent or something to kill everyone because there is a virus in the town, and yeah, 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 yeah. So everyone's just like, oh yay, planes, they're coming to save us. It's like, nope, they're coming to fuck you. They stare at me. Yesterday I went into the village and this old woman just stopped in the middle of the street and stared at me like I had two heads. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. <laughs> I'm like a walking freak show. Oh, this place, it's so insular. I just don't understand how you grew up here. Well, I was very different then. And they're not so bad, really. That's easy for you to say. Just give it a bloody chance, Kate. This was the deal. A year here, and we could be in with a real shot at Messiah. Stephen! Oh, Christ, it's Lanthan. Stephen Appleton, I thought it was you. What's all this about a young wife? No. Oh. oh. Um, hello. Awkward. Stephen. Hi, I'm Kate. <laughs> Yeah, real winner there, huh? Something going on over here? That way? What's that noise? It's a weird noise. Are you farting, Steven? They closed the tunnel. There's no trains. I'll put up a sign. The tunnel, Howard. Is it closed? I think so. I don't like it. It's not right at all. Stop whining. It doesn't help anyone. Do you know you're bleeding? Oh, it's this headache. It's just killing me. Uh oh. I've had a nosebleed like this since I was a kid. But you've not been to the village? No, I've been here the last couple of days or at home. I've only spoken to Clive at the EMC on the phone. Oh, that's it. Him anyway, but with all the cross lines, He's one of them now. No direct contact with any other people. No, no one. What are you talking about? What's going on? It's the pattern. It's adapted again. It doesn't need direct contact to transfer. It's using the phones. What do you mean direct contact, Stephen? That's how most of these conversations end, is just people yelling out Stephen's name in anger. No, uh, were we here already, Stephen? No, maybe not. Yes, I think we were actually. Is this where you killed that guy, or is that someplace else? Oh no, there was a radio here. Yeah, we got that. 
Yes, I don't need to be here. It's a luminous ball of swamp gas. <laughs> what else would you think? It's true. Wait. Oh, I totally lost my brains. Where did Steven go? Fuck. He's over there. Oh. Really? Well, I'm sorry we don't measure up to your exacting standards, Dr. Collins. Oof. Maybe you just need to give us ordinary humans a break. What? Ordinary humans like Lizzie Graves? Did you really think that I wouldn't find out? Friend told me, or did you forget there's one person in this shithole who actually talks to me? Kate, it was just a dream. Don't bother, Stephen! Kate, slow down. You were engaged to her, Stephen. You nearly married oh, her. Oh, come on, it was just a drink. Then why the hell did you lie to me about because it? Because I knew you'd be mad and then it would end up in a row. You wanted to focus on the event. You are saying you love each other, Stephen. You're actually doing me a favor. Wow, I guess I just forgot to say thank you. Do not treat me like I'm an idiot. You're overreacting. I know, I know you're stressed. Just don't. Ooh, Steven's in the doghouse. Oh. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. Kate. Kate, come on, this is crazy. Oh, that went well. What's, what's that? What's going on over there? Is that normal? Is that, is that supposed to be? Is that Steven? Uh, sure, that's fine. Just completely normal. Uh huh. Okay. Interesting. The nice guy, TM. <laughs> Oof. This is kind of spooky. What if this game just suddenly turned into a horror game? Oh. Who's that? Who's- Hark! Who goes there? When I was a kid, my dad found a fox. It had been hit by a car and couldn't walk anymore. Okay. My mum went spare, of course. Made him keep it in the shed. He was already slipping away from us then. He spent hours with that fox, telling it all about Italy and the villages they bombed there. I was, I was jealous, I think. And the fox got more of my dad than I did. But it was dying, that was clear. So one day, I snuck out, took it a sandwich, the food. I was only eight. And it bit me. I remember the anger, the shock, the hurt. Running in, screaming from the garden. My mum panicking about rabies. My dad beat it to death with a spade. Holy fuck! Kent, son. That's what he said. I don't know Ken, it was hurting you. That's just a poor, dumb, dying animal. It doesn't know it's hurting us. Christ help us, it's left the valley. It's everywhere now. It's been three hours since the planes went over. Uh. I'm beginning to think I may have made a terrible miscalculation. I'm nearly done, huzzah! This is 
a feel-good game. from me. You've made me do things I never even thought I was capable of. But if you think I'm coming with you, Kate, wait. Stop. Kate. What a way to go. Exploded. Uh, Stephen. This is Catherine Collins. Oh, hi, Kate. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. Oh, I don't see you, Kate. I see black. Oh, 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 oh. Things all purpley. It's a party. this what's all this Kate 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 my Bob can I go in here no tower three maybe not can't get in I can't get in Kate Kate, can you open the door, please? Kate! It's me, your friend! Dog, other Kate! I don't go by that name, but I can! Kate, Catherine, Kathy, I've been called it all! Hey, you with the face! Ooh, purdy. That purdy. Is this a door? There's a very tiny hedge in the way. Maybe I can... Uh, no. Alright, I guess I'll just mosey on off to the other one. That's fine. Just like sliding down the rail. Wee. This is Tower 4. 
many towers were there? My game crash? <gasps> Everybody's gone to the rapture and stopped working! It's not responding! Oh no! Is that how the game ends? The game just crashes? Is that... Is that... Is that what happens? Holy shit. This game's profound. I can't actually close out... A Close the process down. Um, oh, here we go. Come on, Windows Task Manager, you can do it. Oh, there we go. Close the program. Okay. Wow. Let's take a moment. Here. It's okay. Are we still alive? <laughs> okay, we're okay. Hang on. Let me boot her back up. Wake me up before you go, go. Don't you leave me like a yo-yo. I don't know. Ripperoni. I just want to beat the game. <laughs> That's all I want. All right, we're coming back. We're coming back up. The game went to the rapture. All right, let's see what we got. We'll find out how the saving system works in this game. After we wait an hour for the loading screen here. <laughs> Everyone's, how's everyone doing? Everyone doing really good? Anna, you're really close to the end. I promise 20 minutes tops. Fingers crossed. I'm doing okay. I had the last two days off, so I'm enjoying that. Let's go back to work tomorrow, though. Not super stoked for that, but that's life, I guess. <sighs> Just a general meh, yeah. Tired because of all tests. Yuck. Not envious of that. Alright. Let's try this again. Here we are. Wait, did we go to this one at all? Oh, we didn't go to- we didn't go to Tower 1. I don't remember going to Tower 1. Let's try going here first. Alright. What this? On the plane, Stephen leaned across me and pointed out the window. Down there, he said. That's home. But all I saw were patches of color. Color? I don't think until this moment that I understood that one could contain the other so completely. Okay. First day back to work at Tomorrow, I gotta work 11 hours straight. Oh, those sh long shifts suck. Definitely not envious of that. Okay, so... This is Tower 2. Yeah, we missed Tower 1 and 2 straight away. What the hell? Are these all mouse traps? 
These are all printers. Oh, Kate. What the fuck's going on here, dude? Here's another one. I watched a butterfly dancing in a strip of sunlight. All of its life contained in a single day. The blink of an eye between the ebb of the darkening tide. The fuck, Kate? Lying there with the pattern curled around me. I saw the inevitability. The necessity of presence born from absence. The constant unfolding. Maybe that's why I crashed. You missed stuff. Go back. Yeah, the game's like, I don't, I don't know what to do if you didn't get the other stuff. <clears throat> Alright. So that was tower one. Let's go up this way. Wait, that was tower one, right? Yes, okay. Alright, I see, I see, I see it, Kate. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hopefully the game won't crash again. I won't try and open any more doors. That didn't work out super well. Oh, another butterfly. Okay, where is the tape? It's right there. I totally missed it. I just went straight for the door. I know it didn't mean to hurt any of them. I try and explain why Lizzie tried to leave with her child and why it was wrong to stop her. I try and explain that much of what it did was wrong. It shows me Stephen and Lizzie together. And I'm happy for them. Are you? Frank walks his fields with Mary. Wendy and Edward nest together in the orchards of their love. Wendy can't feel love. And Jeremy lies at peace with his God at last. No. Oh. All of them are happy because they are together. Because they're dead. I understand it better now. It is a collector of time. No butterflies. Butterflies? Kate, you're not making a lick of sense. You're a scientist. Uh, which tower is this? Is there a... Oops, suddenly I'm turned around. What happened? Did I get this one already? Let's see. Oh, I guess I did. Oh, is this back at the beginning? Oh, there's just a staircase down. Sorry, Kate, I'm coming. I just got back backwards. Come on, you know this by now. So, are you beyond death now, uh, Kate? Are you, like, time and space all intertwined into one miraculous being of derp? So are you someone random, unexplained? I, I have no idea who I am in the grand scheme of things. I don't know if we're ever gonna find out. I don't think the story's about us, but maybe we will. Maybe, maybe we were Kate the whole time. I watched the pattern lean in and time slow to almost nothing. I saw the flame leap from Steven's hand and the moment hang in the air forever. I watched his face. You stupid face. Second. I almost
almost believe he saw me. He wasn't frightened or angry. I remember his expression, just like I remember it from the first time early that morning when he woke and still half sleeping said, God, I love you. And I loved him as he entered the fire. And I let him go, knowing I wasn't ready to join him. We have held time to ourselves here in this place, held the light to the ground because we were afraid of the coming dark. But now we understand that to cling to the light is not living. I've spent my life watching the illumination from a million dead stars reaching for me without grasping this meaning. The light we cast transcends our death. The pattern made by our living creates a bridge across the dark. So we're, we're all giant orbs. So worried about my computer crashing again. It's fine. Check it out. There's televisions hanging from the s trees, Kate. Kate. It reaches out from the shadow of the tower, across the observatory, over the valley, and consumes the world. Everything is light now. Everything has come to rest. The world is scored by the traces we carved into it. Our presence is everywhere. The bridge joining our stories. This world jump out. existed before we came to it, and it will continue without us. In the empty fields and houses, our traces radiate, and others will come to dance in the light we cast. Am I a dancer? We can slip away gently, unafraid, knowing that everything will continue. When she have time to do all of this? I'm not sure. She was really busy, though. Dreams lagging. Sorry, I can't help it. There's nothing I can do. We're just in it for the long haul. I'll see you guys on the other side. guys on the other side oh god this is a big old boy ain't it a big old boy the end is coming now I'm not afraid we have each other we lived apart from them. We understand now our failure to touch, to belong. But it doesn't matter anymore. Everybody is gone. And we will join them. We are born apart. Driftwood on the banks of an endless dark ocean and we will be carried away by the swell soon enough. But in between, in the single day of living, that dancing 
in a strip of sunlight. We can find what we miss. The love makes us whole. The imminence. Everybody found their other. This pattern is mine. There we go. Well, everyone, I think we all went to the rapture. Uh, yay? <laughs> I, um, I, you know, I heard uh, lukewarm things about this. I thought it was fine. I could do with it being shorter. But, um, aside from that, I have no quarrels with it. It's just pretty. Got a little, um, what's the word? I don't want to say pretentious. A little bit. Not too much. But a little. Okay, a little. Um, aside from that, though, I don't know. I think it was just, like, a game that was, like, look at all this pretty stuff we can do. And here's Steven, this asshole. Once again, we have an Im ambiguous sort of end. All these ambiguity in games. Games are afraid to make a final... I mean, it's cool. Ambiguity can be cool in games. I feel like it's kind of getting overdone, though. People are afraid to just give an ending. Um, in this case, I, I don't think... I think the ambiguity was fine. Look at all this nice stuff, and then look at this shithead. No, like, I don't know, being sort of an indie game, it, it definitely it is what it is. It's, it's, it, it is what I expected it to be. And it, it's very pretty. But I like this song, so I'm gonna shut up. Also, props to the voice acting in this game. Super good. Like, this was, um, kind of reminded me of Bioshock. No pun intended with the rapture, but, uh, really, being able to do voice acting without having a character model, that's pretty talented. So, the voice acting team did really good. Good night, Kriana. Stream up and crash in my head. Okay, good night. Yeah, guys, I think I'm done streaming. We went to the rapture. We saw what it was all about. We found our vibration, our light, or whatever it was. I think that's all there is to it. I hope you all have a good night. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Should I leave the credits going? I thought the credits were done. I thought I timed that perfectly, but I didn't. Alright, I'm gonna let the credits run. Just because I like to show off the credits to people. Um, and then I'm going to leave. Thank you all for stopping by. I will, uh... I hope to play something else soon. Maybe. Someday. Ideally. I can't actually... I can't actually leave, so I guess I'll just stay through the credits as well. That's fine. Nope, I, I didn't say... I did the awkward thing where I said goodbye and then I didn't leave. <laughs> Uh, hopefully, I don't know. I do, I do like doing these, um, quick indie games. Um, by quick I mean only being a few hours long that I can get done in one day. So that, that's kind of nice, being able to do two games in the span of two days. Maybe I'll look for more shorter fun games I can play. Um, 
just makes more sense with my life right now. Visual novels. Those things are fucking long, though, visual novels. Or maybe they just seem long. <laughs> oh yeah, go get some sleep, dude. Have a good night. There's a lot of people involved here, huh? Empty ho. <laughs> A lot of names for an indie game. Yeah. Well, obviously they had some sort of funding because there is shit ton of. Uh, I mean, just the production value seems pretty high. Not a lot in the way of um, gameplay, though. A little, little gameplay. I mean, walking simulator game, gameplay. just keeps going, don't it? <laughs> yeah, get, get high fives to all the music people. Good job. Music really sold it. Shucks joking, pineapples. Shucks. Good night, you gorgeous page. Should we maybe we should say good night to all these people. Good night, Tom. Good night, Nadine. Good night, Alberto. Terry, hey, good night. Dean, good night. Darren, good night. Oh no, they're going too fast now. Uh, oh shit. Uh, Mark, good night. Uh, Kristoff, awesome name, and good night. Uh, Vincent, nighty night. Uh, uh, Christina, good night. M Michael Bishop, good night to you. Anri Iwasaki, good night. Chris Eshman, good night. Uh, Sachiko Nagasawa. Now you're getting me all the hard names. Miku Otaki, good night. Fuck. Uh, half HP Studio, the whole studio. Good night to you. Awesome, I made it just in time for the credits. Aw, oh, shucks. Yeah, that sucks. They've already given thanks three separate times. They just are very thankful. Ty Me Kim, looking at you. Good night. Uh, Testeronic, I think you're just a label of some kind. Michael Zelinsky, good night. Adam Boywajono, I don't know. I don't even know. Cryptic. Felipe, good night. Nico, good night. Paul, Bennett, Scott, Peter, good night to both of you. Uh, Kristen w Wilkins, good night. C copyright 2014. Ch Christian Robertson, good night. Star Maps, courtesy, good night. 
Bunch of numbers. Bunch of numbers. That. Ah, okay. Well. Well then. Uh, that's uh, that's it. Um. So uh. Looks like they had a whole department for every language. It that's what it looks like. Jesus. All right, guys. Carlton and I are, are signing off. He's gonna just dance here. Every now that there's no one left in, left in this place, he can go to this beautiful European village, just dance the night away. Um, God, it looks like he's really there, don't it? All right. Good night, everyone. Peace out. See you next time. <laughs>